Hi, I'm Dave Elliott. I'm the host of today's show, which is called Our Ventura. And my special guest today is a very lovely young lady who uh, started off in banking. And um, she actually is what I guess you would want to call a PK, too, because she's a pastor's kid. And uh, her father is a pastor of a church in the area. But we're going to mostly focus on Michelle Mercado. Say hi to Michelle Mercado. Hi. And Michelle, um, when we were talking before we came on the camera, um, I asked a lot of questions of you, and I'm not going to go real deep into any of them, but what I want to do is go into those areas that are most passionate for you, as we talked about. Right. You do have a lot of passions. You're very much people-oriented. You, you love individuals because of who you are. You've got a great personality and all. And the people that you've worked for have noticed this, obviously. Let's talk a little bit about the banking first, because... You started off, though, when you were 13 years of age, what you shared with me. Can you share just a minute of that, what, you're, from thir from what you were doing at the age of 13? Um, I went to private school my whole life. My father, again, is a minister, so I went to private school. And at 13, you're able to have after-school jobs. So I worked at the school after, you know, after classes got over. I did everything from cleaning up the classrooms to painting the gym to putting a whole sprinkler system in. So it was a lot of fun. It taught you know, it taught me responsibility, and it taught me you know the whole okay. I've got to clock in at three forty-five, and I've got to clock out at four fifteen or four thirty, whatever it was. And then I went to my after-school sports after that, and it was it was great. It was a you really were good after-school sports. In addition, I was in morning sports and after-school sports. And what, what kind of sports were you doing? Oh, I've done everything from track and field, soccer, um, football, hockey, football, tennis, and yeah. hockey. <laughs> not, not ice hockey. No, no, no. It was just, just gym hockey. hockey. It was, it was pretty innocent. And so you enjoyed all that. Oh, I love. Because when I asked you earlier, you said that you were, you sort of had a tomboy. And I'm, I'm saying to her, and I'm sure you out in the audience would know. And you look at this lovely lady, thinking of her as a tomboy. I couldn't think that way. But in any case, that's what you were doing. You were a tomboy in, in those, in those situations, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. You were very competitive against the guys. I'm extremely competitive. Are you? Extremely I, well, competitive. Even in banking, you were competitive, yeah. huh? As, as you were sharing with me before we came on on the camera, you were saying that there was only two women, and there was how many guys? 30 36. Somewhere? 36. Yeah. And so because of your performance level and everything, you've, you went above that and what you were doing. Right. I was with a business development team for um, a, a big bank, and I was one of two females, and we did all business sales, business portfolio management, and so it was um, it was fun. It was, you know, it was, it was a boys' team, uh -huh. and um, we had a lot of fun, you know, giving them a run for their money and, uh -huh. and you know, giving them a hard time, you know, because we were typically on top. So it was it was great. It was a lot of what fun. What started that? Was the guy, were the guys being very... Uh, you know, kind of teasy to you guys? To no, us. no. You know, we were a really good team. We fit together really well. Uh -huh. Banking is, banking is, you know, it's a different world. It can uh -huh. be very cutthroat. And, oh, you know, yeah. you have very competitive goals. And yeah. and so it was very much, okay, well, I landed a $5 million deal. You know, what are you going to do? Mm. So it was it was mm. a lot of fun. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And it was more than just one bank. Yes. I worked but, for one bank mm -hmm. for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and so then you moved in, and we're transcending quickly, um, because recently I have a good friend, a, a council member, uh, Councilman uh, Neil Andrews, right. and you were on his show not long ago. In fact, it'll be airing here on Channel 6 in the very near future, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. But Neil and I have been friends a long time, and what you were doing was talking about a special event of what you do within your present position, that you're, you're actually the uh, sponsorship chairperson for the Rotary of Ventura East. Right. Okay. And you help raise the funds. You're, you're a responsible party to do all these events. And you've got a lot of events that you've been doing. And one that's coming up uh, in the future was one that you actually talked about on Neil's show. is called the um, Nightmare on the Hill. Right. Would you like to talk a little bit about that first before we talk about that sure. your position and what you're doing? Sure. Thank you. Yes. My um, best friend and I, Jeff Hada, from the Rotary Ventura East, were privileged to sit with Neil and really talk about our event coming up. It's on October 30th. It's from 6.30 to 11. And it's Nightmare on the Hill. It's a great event. It's a lot of fun. It's an adult event. Uh, raise money for the community. And really gives the chance to get people from the community out to, you know, know more about what Rotary does. And to meet us and, you know, just have a good time with us. So I've, 
I've, you know, had a great time in Rotary and, you know, it's so good to be involved with such a service organization that does a lot for the community. So, right. so you plan the event, but you also work in these events? You volunteer your time right. to a degree? The, the event we're having come up, it's put on by Rotary. It's, you know, we, we work the event, we plan the event, we get mm -hmm. sponsorship for the events. Mm -hmm. And then the night of the event, we work it also. And so it's, it's it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, and you know we have a lot of really good members as far as our club, and so everybody kind of chips in and you know does work for the and event. This is not the only event you do, and you've been involved. We have something in common. When we started talking, I discovered this. Obviously, I was a member of the Ch Ventura Chamber of Commerce for five years, mm -hmm. and you are as well, and have right. been. Right. And uh, you 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 do a lot of various things right. from this, a, a number of events, including scholarship for Buena. Right. That's not that just a touch upon a number. You do the Irish Festival once a year. You're on the float for the Rotary in the parade, mm -hmm. uh, which Channel 6 did, and I was involved in their crew. You've been, you've been um, not only that, but you've, um, let's see, if I remember right, oh, the, where, the, where the Nightmare on the Hill is is actually Poinsettia Pavilion. Right. But in addition to being there for that, you also use the pavilion for the Poinsettia flower sales. Right. So you set that up. Too. Our Rotary, um, we meet at Poinsettia Pavilion every Thursday. It's a noon um, club. Uh -huh. And we do. We do a number of events. We're putting on our first annual Irish Festival next March, mm -hmm. on March 19th. It's going to be a huge event. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be in the parade also, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Right. We do Poinsettia sales every year throughout the community. We go out and we sell poinsettias. Um, typically the mall and a number of our local businesses buy them from us. And the money goes to... You know, back to the community. We do mm -hmm. scholarships every year for Buena High School. And so we, you know, we try to give back to the community. We do everything from, we've worked with um, the YMCA. That's right. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that too yeah. because I've done the events for them uh, to gather funds. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's very much, I mean, it's amazing. I've not known you that long and yet I feel like I've known you a long time. And here you are. You have a brother that you're taking care of right now who has a, you know, a broken leg and a few other things that happened on a mountain. And uh, so you're doing that. And it just shows the heart and person that you are that while the Rotary made a good decision, the bank made a good decision, and anyone who worked for it have made good decisions. And you have other desires and dreams, I'm sure, because we're getting close uh, you know, in this program. But I want to give you a little time to talk about your own wants, your own, your own passions that you have, because obviously it's tied into who you are as a heart, and that's why you're in people's service. You're in a service situation here. Um, before, before we go there, though, let's talk about the Plaza Park situation. Mm -hmm. um, outside of the Poinsettia Pavilion location, you guys have done the Plaza Park, which is over by the post office. We're doing that. That's actually our first event we're doing. It's uh -huh. going to be next year. It's the Irish Festival. Is, and that's in March, right? It's in March, right. and it's going to be a really big event. We've We've been promoting that an awful lot. You know, we were just at the Seaside Games this weekend mm -hmm. um, to support them also and then also to yeah. pass out flyers and stuff. So uh -huh. we're excited. It's going to be, you know, a good event. It's, you know, difficult doing the first event. Sometimes it's a little uh -huh. tricky figuring it out, but uh -huh. it's we're really looking forward to it. So uh -huh. I'm really excited about that. That's good. Okay, yeah. now let's go to the, the, the last portion here for you to have uh -huh. the ability to share with our audience and with me um, more detail about what we've talked about. No way I'm going to sit here and embarrass you, but I do. I want you to know that when, because of who I am, I actually want to help people get where they go. Mm -hmm. So you and I have that in common. I, I like seeing people get to the level they'd like to be at mm -hmm. financially with their desire of passion. And you know how it is, Michelle. Many people end up doing their hobby as a, as a life in, in work. Mm -hmm. The good example of that was Colonel Sanders, okay? And it, he didn't start doing it until he was in his late 60s, so... And, and you're not that old anyway. <laughs> you're nowhere not near. Not yet. <laughs> she shared with me, folks, that what she was, and I don't even, I don't want to buy that, but, I'm, you know, I, I have to agree with her in, because who she is. She's very truthful. So your passion, Michelle, what, I mentioned to you that I thought, I asked you the question out there. Have you ever thought or did you ever do any modeling? And I think you shared with me, yeah, a little bit. And you've, and, and you've sung, your dad being a pastor, mm -hmm. you sang at church? I was in choir for eight, nine years. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, I was in and a choir. And you've done dancing? I've done all types of dancing. I love ballet. My girls are in ballet, so I, yeah. I'm, 
Well, you have girls, too. I have girls. See, I didn't touch upon <laughs> that. You're a family lady. You have I have, daughters. I have, yeah. And how old are they? Um, one is seven, and one just turned five on Friday. Oh, my gosh. I just spent a weekend at church with three- to five-year-olds. Yeah. They're very precocious. <laughs> my, my girls are they are definitely amazing. Uh-huh. They're and I'm, I'm guessing they take after you. <laughs> I don't know. It's you don't hopefully know. the good parts. <laughs> really? Hopefully the good parts. <laughs> okay. So what would be some passions for you outside of the children you have um, and the career that you've had so far? You, and I asked you out there, did you desire to have your own business? And you said kind of, David, but you don't know where the situation will come from. Right. Um. You know, like like you've spoke about, I've been in banking for so many years. Um, and with my recent layoff, it was kind of like, wow, this is a first for me. You know, I've worked at least one or two jobs since I was 13. Um, and yeah, I've always kind of thought about what if I had my own company and what would it look like? And um, so I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. It's just, you know, it's been very recent since I've come into a new situation. So... Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to do something where it has to do with giving back to the community, um, where I'm helping, you know, specific businesses. I've thought about, you know, doing different independent contracting work. And I've been approached by a number of, of people who, as soon as they found out, you know, that I had been laid off, they called me and said, hey, we'd love for you to come, you know, do independent contract work for us. So it was, you know, it was very flattering and it was very sweet because I knew that, you know, they were concerned about me and wanted to... You know, they were see being what they sincere. Could do. Very sincere. I well, I know in my own personal situation, as I began to grow in what I'm doing, I would take you on in a heartbeat. Thank you <laughs> for your talents <laughs> and your abilities. Okay, so I can understand why people would do that, and I'm sure it gets around the city and the county. And your dad being a pastor, I'm sure that people, you know, going to the church who may have businesses would say, "Gee, Michelle, why don't you come join us?" Yeah, I've had I've had a little bit of all of that. So it's been you know it's it's been really touching just emotionally having people contact me and uh -huh. and and reach out to me. So that's been great. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I'm doing a lot of brainstorming right now and really uh -huh. thinking about what the picture would look like if I went into business for myself. Uh -huh. And um, obviously, me having an open schedule somewhat, you know, to to be involved with my kids' school is right. very important. And are you kind of like at this point in you know, the career, you're a stay at home mom? So um, you know, I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's been two two weeks since I've not had like a daytime job that I'm going to. Besides, obviously, talking about uh -huh. you know our nightmare on the hill and going out mm -hmm. to the community and really doing that, and mm -hmm. that really has a lot of my focus right now. Just because I love the Rotary Ventura East Club so much and what they do and the members there and mm -hmm. giving back to the community. So that's really been my full time. I'm sure as soon as this event's over, it's going to hit me and be like, oh my goodness, I, I don't have a normal daytime job. You know, I'm, you know, you get used to getting up in the morning and right. getting ready and going to you work. You know how many so. people do that at home as a full-time thing in multi-level? Right. And really, they're they're laughing at a lot of other folks because they're not yeah. having to go down the freeway or whatever. Yeah, We're in our last minute or so, Michelle. And so um, some final thoughts. Um, do you have any um, way to be in touch do you have like a website with Rotary or do you have any numbers or anything? We have a Rotary, uh, rotaryventuraeast.org and anybody can go on there and, and, and check us out. Um, yes, my actually, I believe our information is on there. They can email us and it will go to me. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Okay. We now have roughly a half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel? You're, you're not nervous, right? No, no. I, no. You know, I, I've been talking for years, so. That's good. And you know what people used to say to me the same thing. Dave, do you ever shut up? And I'd say, <laughs> yeah, when I'm not awake. <laughs> exactly. When I'm sleeping. <laughs> when I'm sleeping. Yeah. And even then, maybe I'm talking. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, Michelle, I really, really adore you, and I'm going to have you on one of my standard Thank you. shows. It's you know, a pleasure coming that, on. That, and, and, and we'll be talking again. And I'm look, wishing you the best of luck in everything that you've got Thank going, you. and you well deserve it because he's doing it for you, you know. Thank you. So I'm look out at the audience now and say, you've been watching Our Ventura. I'm the host, Dave Elliott, and my guest has been Michelle Mercado, and she's fabulous. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>